A new tranche of sovereign gold bonds is here again and it is open for subscription. Now this is the fourth tranche of the SGB and here's why SGBs are proving to be quite popular among investors. SGBs attract no capital gains tax if held till maturity. SGBs offer additional interest of 2.5% annually on initial investment. And the first ever tranche gave a CAGR of 10.88% if we consider it without additional interest. So what about this tranche? Here are 10 points to know if you're looking to invest in this issue. I'm Neha Vashisht Mahajan. Let's take a look. Number 1. Date The issue opened on Feb 12, 2024 and will close on Friday, Feb 16. The date of issuance of SGB has been fixed as Wednesday, Feb 21st. Number 2. Pricing the tranche has opened for 6,263 rupees per gram. For investors willing to apply online, there is a discount of 50 rupees per gram, which means they will get it at 6,213 rupees per gram. Number three, historical returns. The first ever issue matured on November 30th, 2023. It opened at 2,684 rupees per gram and closed around 6,312 rupees per gram. Investors who have stayed invested since then would have made 10.88% CAGR returns and an absolute return of 128.5% excluding interest on SGBs. On top of it, the bonds gave interest at the rate of 2.75% per annum. The first scheme offered a higher interest rate than the existing 2.5%. Number 4. How can you pay for it? Payment for the SGBs can be made through cash up to a max of 20,000 rupees or via a demand draft, check or internet banking. Number 5. How is the price calculated? The price of SGB is based on the simple average of the closing price of gold of triple line purity in the last three business days of the week preceding the subscription period as published by the India Bullion and Jewelers Association. In this case, the three business days are between Feb 7th and Feb 9th, 2024. Number 6. What about the lock-in period? The lock-in period for SGBs is 8 years with an option of premature redemption after the 5th year to be exercised on the date on which interest is payable. Number 7. Who can apply for SGBs? The sale is restricted to resident individuals, HUFs, trusts, universities and charitable institutions. Number 8. What is the minimum or maximum investment one can make? The minimum investment allowed is 1 gram of gold and the maximum limit is 4 kgs for individuals, 4 kg for HUF and 20 kg for trusts and similar entities per fiscal year. In the case of joint holding, the investment limit of 4 kg will be applied to the first applicant only. Number 9. When was this launched and why? The SGB scheme was launched in November 2015 to reduce the demand for physical gold and shift a part of the domestic savings used for the purchase of gold into financial savings. Lastly, number 10, taxation. If you hold SGBs until maturity, the maturity proceeds are tax-free and no capital gains tax is applicable. Also, TDS is not applicable on SGBs as well. However, the interest earned on the investment is taxable as per the individual's income tax lab rate. If you sell your SGBs on a stock exchange, securities transaction tax or STT is also applicable. Well, that is all for today. Stay tuned to ED Markets for more.